Okay, so I'm really aware I'm wearing a green shirt with a green screen, and I have no idea how it's going to turn out. So, uh... Oh, I'm kind of... kind of halfway see-through. Yeah! <laughs> That'll do. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Coding Big Bear or Stuart, if you want to call me by my first name. Today we're going to be looking at Battle Toads. I am very excited for this one. It came out on Thursday. I'm recording this right now on Thursday. Uh, pretty much just after I completed the game, about yeah, about 20 minutes ago, and uh, absolutely loved it. Just going to say that straight off the bat, loved it. Uh, so Battle Toads, what is it? Um, it is a game about toads that are alien I think possibly and they're anthropomorphic they're big like six foot two things that will kick you in the face uh, but as they kick and punch they do uh, they do have like weapons come out of their hands kind of grow out of the hands you'll see what I'm on about but it originally started off the NES as you can see behind me uh, then it was on the SNES as well in the arcades which is uh, one that I played when I was oh well one I originally played uh, anyway and, uh, well, I never completed it. I found it very, very hard, but I did love the game. Hence me getting the Rare Replay to get this t-shirt as well. Uh, that was pretty much the reason I got the Rare Replay in the first place, that and Conquer. Um, but back to Battletoads. But, as I said, on Thursday, Battletoads 2020 finally released after so many teasers over the last few years. Uh, with, you know, things like uh, well, Rare Replay and also Rash turning up in uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat? No, Killer Instinct. I do know my games, I promise. But Battletoads 2020 has finally come out and it looks like this. It's pretty sweet, right? I really like it. I know there's a lot of people out there that just don't like it. It's all the thing, it's too uh, too modernized or too, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know why they don't like it. I think it looks great. It reminds me of like Teen Titans uh, with, well, Teen Titans with the animation. It just looks really cool. At least that's what it reminds me of. And then the actual characters themselves. You have Rash, Zitz, and Pimple, and these are really weird guys. The beginning of the game, they, they, they're they going through, you, you're battling basically, you're going through, you're going side scroll, beat them up, punching, kicking things, your feet are turning to giant boots or spikes on the end, your hands turning, turning into clubs, you know, all sorts of mad stuff's happening on the screen with these crazy, crazy looking villains, and you are kicking and kicking and punting them everywhere, and you're having a good time, you get through the boss, and they're like, yeah, time to celebrate, we can fly, woo! And then uh, all of a sudden they're uh, they're brought back to reality. It turns out they're in some kind of bunker, and they're now in the future. But after 27 years, 26, 27 years, I can't remember. I played the game for five hours straight, and I just cannot remember what how many years they kept saying. I think it was 27. After 26 years uh, in the bunker, they find that they are no longer famous. They're not going to know. No one cares about them anymore. Uh, so they set on a quest to one fight the bad guy, which is the uh, Dark Queen, and they go for it. And then they also <laughs> find out that you know, they want to be famous, so they're doing, doing everything they can to keep themselves in the limelight and be famous straight away, at least rashes anyway. And then the game just kicks off from there, but also, as it has it, as you're playing this game, you are looking at these amazing uh, visuals. They look absolutely amazing, they're really cool, they're full of character, you can clearly see everything on the screen, clearly see what's going on, there's loads of stuff happening in the background, and it's just a really good looking game. Uh, the voice talent is really great as well. You have voice talent throughout the entire thing uh, because there are cutscenes, and these cutscenes are animated beautifully. They really are just gorgeous. And when you actually get to sit down and watch them uh, throughout, you have this amazing, you have these amazing voice cast. Uh, I don't know any of the names. I'm so sorry, uh, but they do an amazing job for these characters, and they give them all, uh, you know, these great, great quirks. And the toes themselves kind of remind me of uh, Super Duper Sumos. <laughs> I don't know if anyone ever remembers seeing that, uh, but hopefully I'll put it here for you. It's just that uh, it was really great. Um, but Super Duper Sumos was pretty. No, wait, we're talking about toes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we've got these three uh, three characters that are just really dumb, or well, they're already dumb to be honest, and they're just out for a fight for no reason other than to be famous, as I said. But this new art style is absolutely kick-ass, and one thing that was always very memorable with uh, with Battletoads in the original games was the soundtrack. And it had to be it was fast-paced, it had that. 8-bit synth and then obviously 16-bit and beyond and it just rocked every single time and this game is no exception this music is absolutely brilliant 
I mean, it's just full on, just chugging along as it's going, as you're as you're going, and you can just kind of you hear influences of all sorts of bands in there. Uh, I can't name anything on top of my head. I mean, uh, Papa Roach is definitely in there, kind of like a. a You'll play the game, you'll hopefully uh, you figure it out. And it's just a really, really cool soundtrack and it really gets you motivated and you want to complete the game. And that's one of the reasons why I stayed on and just finished the game. Uh, one, it wasn't as hard as the original as the original games. And for me, to be honest, that's actually a godsend. I love to be able to complete the game. Uh, I don't like it was too hard, like it's ridiculously hard. Uh, although I do love Cuphead and I really persevered with that. I suppose it's because everything felt a little bit shorter because of the single boss levels and these, again, these are just short levels and had some great checkpoints throughout as well. Uh, they had loads of references to, to the original games, uh, like I say, with the music uh, and the like, Turbo Tunnel kind of turns up. You have a new perspective on it. Uh, you know, obviously you have, uh, you don't have anyone throwing stuff at the screen. You don't have any, like, uh, you know, bosses, like, cool perspective, kind of like in Turtles with the Shredder doing its thing. You have a similar thing like that in Battletoads, uh, especially on the NES anyway. And, you know, so there's a few things they, they don't have in, but they do have some really cool stuff all the way through. Uh, they're always breaking a fourth wall, which is nice. Uh, I just enjoy it. They acknowledge that, you know, they've kind of been forgotten. No one really knows about the Toads are. They just remember that, oh, you, you might have been on the Turtles. And the Turtles did have, like, frog dudes, not Toads. I think it was kind of as a, well, hang on, this is our idea type thing. I'm not sure if there was anything going on with Rail Turtles at the time. Don't think there was. I'll shut up. But anyway, this game is, uh, it's just a really, really good game. I absolutely love my time playing, playing it. So five and a half hours straight, I stopped for a little bit of food and that was pretty much it. Uh, just carried on playing and it, even though it was, uh, it was tough, I got stuck on a few bits, I didn't ever feel that I couldn't do it. Uh, I just kind of worked out that some of the mechanics you have to be really precise with. Uh, when you're doing sledding, you have to make sure you land before you can jump and you have to make sure you get yeah, Lamp we can grind as well. It was a pain in the bum. I, I just I got through it. it. I was fine. I was fine. I can kind of hear you uh, maybe asking, what about multiplayer? I haven't spoken about that at all. Now I haven't played uh, local local multiplayer. I played single player my entire time. As you do that, you rotate through the characters and do yourself that way. I imagine it's very similar. You just have one character to rotate between you and kind of get less of a buff because if you both get beaten up very quickly, which can happen, you uh you kind of lose a life. Yeah, so local multiplayer, I don't really know, uh, and there is no online. It's kind of a cuphead situation. It's just local multiplayer as is. I, I imagine it's because it's harking back to the older game, maybe. Uh, it's referencing an older game, which I do think is a really silly idea. I I'm not one for multiplayer at all, but I would love to go on a game like this with a friend or with somebody, some random stranger, and just kind of play through some because we've both got the same goal, get to the end. And it's fun, yeah. You can really enjoy yourself. If you start dying too much, they can go, "Hey, sort your, sort your, sh uh, sort your stuff out." Yeah, yeah. I enjoy the fact that it isn't amazingly difficult. It's uh, very doable. Everything's doable. I played it on normal. I didn't play it on hard uh, because the original one was very, very cheap. I may have a clip here uh, that shows me fighting a giant mouse. Uh, I would run in and <laughs> punch him in the nuts. Which, honestly, that will look horrific. He fully grabs him. I mean, just look. Look at that. She, I mean, whew. But this guy was cheap as anything. Just, I lost so many lives playing against him. Uh, I'd run in, and he just all of a sudden snagged me, and I couldn't do anything about it, and he just grabbed me again and do the same and the same again, and I could be miles away from him or in the middle of, the middle of a move. And I'm glad he's not in here, and I'm glad that kind of element is kind of not in this game which might be disappointing to some others, but they could be on the harder difficulty, I don't know. That's just something, I, if it is, I will let you know next week when I, when Bear's Den comes out again. Oh, I did have a slight issue with the bug. There was one of like a, a screen tear bit, uh, where it would kind of jump you and it would just throw you throw with your timing during the sledding sections and any kind of side scrolling fast paced sections. Um, it just kind of, that was not often, but it happened enough to annoy me. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So guys, that was my thoughts on Battletoads 2020. Obviously, I really enjoyed this game, so it's going to get a decent score. It's going to get an 8 out of 10 from me. Uh, I think it really deserves it. You know, it's, it's put, there's a lot of effort being put in there. I've been anticipating for this game for a long, long time, and it didn't disappoint at all. I really enjoyed myself playing this, and the fact I was able to complete it was even better. It's like a little Brucey bonus on that one as well. So I'll say complete it, I mean finish it, but it depends on your definition. So an 8, eight out of 10 from me. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell, you know, click all the buttons. 
do your thing, put comments. If you want to see anything we have like on our, on our news, uh, maybe other reviews, written reviews, lists, that kind of thing, it's all on our website, respawning.co.uk. Uh, you've seen all the banners that's been going across. Uh, but guys, that, that again, I love this game. I hope you do, hope you do as well. Like I said, it is free on Xbox Game Pass at the moment. I say free, but you know what I mean. Uh, but guys, most of all, just be nice to each other, yeah?